see fans being... So I can imagine DC fans being called edgelords. I can imagine DC fans being called, like, conceited or whatever the fuck. And self-obsessed. All the Okay, okay, I can can take the... the, Okay, chill. What I don't get is the weird jump to DC fans and Zack Snyder himself are just hard right wing trumpel mm-hmm. conservatives. That's where I don't quite get it. I don't know how you watch if all you watched was three hundred, okay. But that has nothing to do with DC, so I don't know how where the fuck where the fuck that comes from. Mm. Um I don't know how you watch Birds of Prey. I don't know how you watch Shazam. I don't know how you watch fucking uh Batman vs Superman, Wonder Woman, and say, Oh yeah. This was made for the conservatives. That's how I feel of like um, gay loving conservatives. <laughs> That's how I feel of like um, uh, Star Wars, right? Uh, there's this constant like fear mongering of Kathleen Kennedy is ruining Star Wars mm-hmm. with her woke agenda, right? Yeah. A- a- and like Star Wars, Catherine. used... Kathleen Kennedy is a producer who worked with George Lucas when they made like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Steven Spielberg, all that sort of stuff. But, like, she has worked on those projects for a long time. She has, like, um, she has problems when it comes to, like, she hired certain directors. Like, okay, the ones who made the Lego movie Mm -hmm. have a very distinct style of how they tell their story, right? Um, Into the Spider-Verse is another one of their movies. Mm -hmm. Kathleen Kennedy hired them to make Solo. And then halfway through making Solo, she was like, yo, this is, like, too stylistic and not star wars enough mm-hmm. and then fired them so i mean that that's i don't agree with her on that yeah. but the weird uh grand conspiracy that like star wars used to be like conservative and now it's all like woke sjw bullshit is, is insane for like star wars is very anti-capitalistic anti uh, imperialist, colonial, Af- you know what I mean? Anti-fascist, right. which is very relevant yeah. right now. Right. Um, and that's the original trilogy that's even more in the prequel trilogy, which was like anti-Bush. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anti-Nixon. So, I can understand, like, you're saying with, like, DC, it's just like, the, the way they do these mental gymnastics of, like, this yeah. is that, or this is that, you know Yeah, I mean? I, sometimes it feels like anything that has... POCs or women, mm. sorry, women. Um, and any time that something has that, it's it is lefty propaganda. Oh my god! And any time that something has white people and is generally from, from like not the last ten years, is conservative. Right. Well, you just it's just a weird. I just caught a jump. creeper, and I killed it barely on time to escape from the creeper that was behind me. Jesus, what you just said is so important. From the last 10 years. Because there are so many movies that are like um, left-leaning, uh, not conservative, like Blade Runner, Aliens. Mm-hmm. They're all very anti-corporate movies, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but they exist in this vacuum where they're just not slandered as woke, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Aliens, right? That's a, that's a whammon, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the villain of that movie is the corporation that is like valuing money over human lives you know what i mean mm-hmm. blade runner um fucking v for vendetta is like super anti-fascist like anti-conservative government you know what i mean yeah but it has it doesn't have the gays my people wait what it doesn't ha- well i'm saying oh, um v for vendetta saying... does have the gays in it wait really yeah what? When, that's, okay. that's the heart of the story is um, I literally haven't seen this movie in fucking 10 years what okay. the fuck when V for Vendetta is in prison right remember when he gets burned alive and all that stuff uh-huh. he was next door to a cell a cell neighbor who was put in jail for being gay mm-hmm. and it's her story that V tells to Evie that radicalizes her to take on the, the fascist conservative government dude I need to rewatch this fucking movie. Right, but here's it's the been thing. so long. We got it too. Yeah, go you ahead. Wanna watch it? Yeah, have it on 4K. We can watch it uh, next time. Nice. Next time. But yeah, and before it, it exists in a vacuum. With another brown person. 
a lot of conservatives really like V for Vendetta. They just completely overlook that. Yeah, they just and, don't get it. But here's the thing, right? Is um, something like uh, uh, Captain Marvel, which is like, there is not, there's not like a political message in that movie. It's pretty, it's Marvel bare bones. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's pretty Marvel bare bones. Um, it's just, well, okay. I would, I would argue, um, and I don't think this is a leap, a leap. Um, there's a lot of, uh, feminism to be had. In I'm 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 strictly speaking to the like overt nature of E for Vendetta, where the yeah. it is a conservative government that is mm-hmm. locking up Muslims, gays. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, it, it Captain Marvel's not that. Anything in the MCU will never be that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, no. Um, everything that um that Captain Marvel does in terms of like feminism is strictly speaking from a um. Your, your coveted word, subversion of a traditional nice. I really fucking you. But also not like, um, um it, it, I understand what you're saying. It's, it's subversive, right? But it's not like subverting something for the first time. It's kind of like, it, it's, eh. it's, well, I mean like, okay. So the, the, the part of it that is, um, that is subversive is, God, this guy is just fucking you. I know, right? Um, well, my car is just toast. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, the part of it that is subversive and that it just plays with this expectation is that the whole point, like a big part of like the early of the, of the movie is that I'm you are too emotional. You have to learn to control your emotions. And, um, that's like a very <laughs> common thing. It's also just like a, a criticism of women. Like women need to learn to control their emotions. The whole, like a big part of like Captain Marvel is like owning those emotions. Uh, well, but what which I mean, is, like, like, um, now I could just be ignorant, but that's like a first time for me. That's the only message I didn't like about the movie. But it's not, um, I, I don't, I don't think Captain Marvel was like groundbreaking or like. No, I wouldn't yeah. argue. I don't think anyone would. Um, it's, um, it's, it's still at the end of the day, a Marvel <gasps> movie. Yeah. So it is burdened by very much a, um, a, they, we're going to call it weak sauce. Well, well, you know, that's the thing, right? Is, uh, Marvel wasn't always weak sauce, right? Like, um. It's first movie was like, it, it was, Iron Man 1 is the mm-hmm. most political of any of the Marvel movies, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In terms of it's like anti-war, anti-military uh, profiteering message. Mm-hmm. Like, you literally have a hero who was like profiting from war and weapons that like actually meaningfully cast that aside and like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is not something you'll see in... A recent Marvel movie, you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Um, there's just, um, there's a lot of things that just separates, like, uh, on, like, a spiritual level. Also composed by, um, Game of Thrones. First Iron Man movie. Really? Yeah, that's why it has the best score. Pog. But, uh, there's a lot of things that separate it. Um, just in the subject matter, it's willing to tackle... Which one? Um, Iron Man 1. Yeah. And it is, it's actually, it's kind of shocking to go back to that movie sometimes, and, and look back. Um, okay, so that's to wrap it around to where we were talking about uh, Kathleen Kennedy and Star Wars, right? Mm-hmm. Um, because Kathleen Kennedy is a woman, people a lot of times say like she's the one who's like making Star Wars bad, and the one who's making it good is the male John Favreau, who is like secretly a conservative. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, if you look at his movies, like he he made Iron Man one. Mm-hmm. I, I would not call that like pro war, pro Bush. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, definitely not. But it's like, uh, yeah, it's just weird YouTube, like, quartering shit. You know what I mean? Where they, like, yeah. craft a narrative. And it, it's so it's so sad because, like, man, there's a lot of things. <laughs> there's a lot of things out there that are definitely worth critiquing. Mm-hmm. I don't know why we, we need to die on the hill of, of like lumping in all of uh like for instance Zack Snyder's movies as like um crazy fucking conservative propaganda. It's really fucking weird. I think one I think one of the worst takes I saw on Twitter was they were like, oh um having Bruce Wayne be the the rich white like billionaire as a good guy is just like if you think he's the good guy in Batman or Superman you're watching the wrong movie. Yeah, one, he's not the good guy in that movie. And two, um okay, this is going to be the spiciest take of all time. Okay, are you mm. ready for it? Shoot. 
I don't think Ugh. it's that big of a fucking deal to have white characters dun, dun, be dun. heroes in movies. I don't think that's a big fucking problem. Jesus, this um, this is the like this is how much the culture has moved. Grand Theft Auto Four, as we know, had the bottle. Yeah. Oh, ah. This is Grand Theft Auto Five. Groundbreaking. Pro you. Wow. Vote Sue Mary as next governor. Wow. L- liberating. Um. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> Please no. Um. Anyway. Yeah. My no. What? Oh, I'm a little rabbit. You're not fucking a, half. The rabbit's fine, dude. The rabbit is not fine. Also, no. <laughs> why Why do you gotta... Why do you gotta get out it? Why you gotta pull get out? Why? <laughs> Who hurt it, you? It's symbolism. I've heard it's symbolism. Oh, my God. Damn. Um. Anyway, I think it's really fucking weird um, to, like, harp on ev- anything... That just that happens, or well, not happens. That just has <laughs> just, a fucking incidentally white rolled, male a, yeah, lead. incidentally like, rolled the camera when a white guy happened to be in front of it. Yeah, like, um, it's just, dude, I don't know. It's really fucking weird. It comes from this like culture of, well, we instead of just empowering POCs, which is like good, we also need to shit on non POC. Um, and, and any other, like, you know, my majority group. Mm-hmm. I think that's really fucking cringe. I don't know why we have to, like, bring down like, yeah. to uplift. Yeah. Like, it's not needed. It, it's real. it's like some Daenerys, uh, they can, they either join my world or they die in the old one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, and it's so sad because, like, I'm like, guys. We could agree on so much. Yeah. Why do you gotta be fucking stupid? Yeah. <sighs> oh my lord. Um. That's I'm, one of the I'm things. I'm gonna take out his door. Wait, I'm gonna take his car. Oh my god. Oh, nice. You are probably. Oh gone. no no I no! That white car could have been mine. It could have, and now it's not. Well, that truck is gonna be mine. Oh my god! What the fuck? They just threw their bumper at you. <laughs> that truck there doesn't have no, a car. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You... I want to do, like, the, dude, I'm I'm molding. I'm trying to do the, like, Dark Souls, like, roll. Oh. <laughs> and it doesn't. No. I hate you. <laughs> I don't know Damn, why. Damn, what's up, Doc? <laughs> oh, God. Why are you Shout like out this? to my homies in Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna have to put that from the chat into your video. Well, no, he followed. So, like, you know, he's just a, when he watches the VOD, he'll be like, hey, yes. Unicraft. He followed, dude. Well, that's good for yeah. him. Uh, Buckshot. Wait, did you kill another one? Y- yeah. Why? <laughs> dude, I lost the cops. They're, no, you still got two stars. They're just, they're probably slow as fuck. They stop for donuts. <coughs> this is literally the meme of you being like, oh, we'll have to figure out something because I never die in uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> Fucking, uh... I never said I never curb die. Your, curb your enthusiasm. I never said I never die. I just said it's probably a lot more rare than when you die, which is true. No, way. I yes, survived so long no, by just not. running... Dude. You just run and then you die. I don't know. This is literally the worst game ever. It's called Grand Theft Auto and I see no auto. What? Well, you you fucking drove out into the middle of nowhere. Wait, did you actually just lose the cops aggro? Yep. Wait, I'm actually cringing. I'm white. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, are you one of the <laughs> this, white this was This was... This was... Oh, go, go, go. This was Man of Steel. Ran. Like, the cops saw me and he was like, Wait. He's not our enemy. And they let me go. <laughs> and now... Wow, that... That poor man. His haircut is fucking stupid. Here, let me punish him. No. No, 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 Stuart. I <laughs> am justice. What? Did I get him? Yeah. I don't think I did. Where is he? Where, where is he, indeed? He disappeared. He, he despawned. 
dude, I hit him into next dimension. 